Hey guys, today I want to talk about the one full breath. Okay, so you've done your relaxation phase, you've gotten ready for your breath hold, and it's time to take that one big breath. Prior to taking that one big breath, I really like to take two to three, sometimes four medium sized breaths before my one big breath. And I find that really stops the shock of that massive inhale going from slow belly breathing to this one gigantic breath. So if you can do a couple of medium breaths leading up to that one big breath, that'll keep your heart rate down nice and low so you can really get uh, super relaxed in the breath hold and you know get a, maximize your personal best to, to hopefully something that you thought you'd never be able to do. The key to the one big breath when you're ready to do it, finally, you've been re relaxing, no hyperventilation, which we'll talk about in another video as well. But you really want to start the first part from your belly, the second part from your chest, okay? So our diaphragm at the top of our belly is the main muscle used in breathing and our intercostals are the secondary muscles and around our chest, neck and shoulders. A lot of other little muscle groups make up our other breathing muscles, but the main muscle is the diaphragm. So we want to use that one first to really draw a massive inhale into our lungs. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate now how to do that. First, you're going to want to breathe out in a passive exhale. So not a forced exhale, but a passive exhale, which is something like this. So you still have air in your lungs on a passive exhale. You're not really pushing it out as such. Like, we're just gonna be nice and relaxed the whole time, okay? So, a passive exhale, and then we're just gonna use our belly to fill up the bottom part of our lungs, really get that air nice and deep down towards our diaphragm. And the second part, we're really gonna open up our chest and our intercostal muscles, our, bring back our shoulders, lift our head, to really maximize as much air intake as possible. Uh, you know, obviously you don't have as much time if you're if in a surfing wipeout, but it all still applies and it'll help massively if you can remember to take a really big breath. Uh, I really like to vocalize mine to make sure that it reminds me to take that big breath. So I'll demonstrate now the one big breath So you might have noticed I made some noise when I was doing that and as I said before that I find that really helps me to, to take the biggest breath possible. Um, so I'll just break it down exactly how to do it. The first part, the belly breath, I want you to imagine you're doing it through a straw. So really take a lot of time to suck that first part of the breath in. You know, uh, in free diving some some world champions might take up to one whole minute to get that entire breath, one big breath, okay? So it's, it's nice, slow, relaxing, uh, and just trying to get as much air as possible. So the first part, I imagine I'm doing it through a straw. I've breathed all the way out. And I've really filled up the bottom part of my of my lungs. I'm, I'm not trying to use my chest at all. I save that for the second part, okay? So the first part. Now that I feel like my belly is full of air, really full down to the bottom of my lungs and my belly's sticking out as much as possible, it's time to go into the second part. And that's where I really try to open up my throat to maximize as much air as possible going down. So the belly's in. Second part of the chest. And you notice I'll make this noise with the back of my throat and that really helps me to remind me to get every last drop of air impossible. Um, and at the start, you're going to feel completely full of air. You're going to feel so full. Uh, and you know, that's fine. That's something you're going to get used to over time. Uh, if you feel really uncomfortable, if you're doing a static breath hold in a swimming pool or in your bed or whatever, uh, just breathe a little bit out or don't take so much in on that final inhale. Uh, when you're free diving, that pressure 
goes away really quickly when you dive from the surface to 10 meters your lung capacity goes from uh, full volume to half volume okay so that air compresses really quickly so that uncomfortable feel feeling goes away really quickly it actually goes into reverse when you start diving so the more air you can have at the start of a dive the better uh, obviously if it's too uncomfortable let a little bit out uh, or also just try swallowing that can really help but once you've got that big breath in I find moving your shoulders neck back and forth just fully getting yourself relaxed because you can get quite a bit of tension especially when you're doing this for the first time so really just try to relax your whole neck shoulders and body get that one big breath and then you're ready for your breath hold uh, the key to the breath hold is relaxation so you know just being in a good place in your mind where you're not thinking about holding your breath uh, and you know practicing some of the techniques I'll be teaching you across these videos so that's the one big breath practice that try to try to just hold it for 10 or 15 seconds breathe out relax and then try it again just just to get used to taking in and maximizing your total lung capacity uh, and we'll talk about a few stretches and stuff in other videos that will hopefully get you taking bigger and bigger uh, gulps of air.